Hi, I'm trying to blow the biggest bubble possible. I'll give it another go. Pretty big, but I need to get one bigger, much bigger than that. Maybe gum isn't the answer. Maybe I need to try something else. How do you blow the biggest bubble? Hmm? Air is going into it and it's going bi growing bigger and bigger. Um, you put it around your tongue and then you put your tongue back inside your mouth and blow really hard. My friend blows big bubbles, but I'm not really sure how. You get some dishwashing liquid, liquid and it's sort of like a bubble thing and you put it in and you just sort of wave it and it makes a big bubble. Blowing like air in with water. Hey, some good ideas there, but check these out. Bubbles, lots of them. I'm gonna make some more bubbles too with this stuff here. Thank you. This is bubble mixture. It's soap and water mixed together. And watch these bubbles. Beautiful. Beautiful bubbles, but they're not very big, are they? And I want to make the biggest bubble. So I might just try blowing harder, see if that works. Stand by for bubbles. Hmm, lots of bubbles, but they're actually smaller. I'll try it again without blowing so hard. I can still make bigger bubbles with the bubble gum. And I want to make the biggest bubble ever. Lots of beautiful bubbles, but they're all fairly small. Maybe I need more bubble mixture than this here. Yes. How about this much bubble mixture? Yes, this will make much bigger bubbles. Here goes. Hmm. Not many bubbles and they're all about the same size. More bubble mixture. How about a bigger bubble wand? I've got some bits and pieces to help me make bigger bubbles. I'll start with the smallest one and work my way up. They're getting bigger, but I need to make them better. I've been investigating and I have a theory. See how this towel just hangs there? Watch what happens when I move it through the air. The air pushes it out. I wonder how this theory will help me make bigger bubbles. Well, let's find out. Are these bubbles bigger or what? <laughs> okay, folks, stand by for the biggest bubble in the universe using this hula hoop. Into the bubble mixture it goes and stand back, you could get covered. going 
going on here. The bubble starts to form and then it pops. Maybe there's something else we need to take into consideration. I've got an idea. Now, to understand bubbles, we need to understand a couple of things. One of these is surface area. Look at this balloon. It's got lots of surface area. And now it has a lot less. See? More. Less. More. Less. More. And less. Then we need to understand surface tension. See, the water is above the glass. That's because surface tension acts like a sort of skin. But surface tension depends on the liquid. Water has quite weak surface tension, which is easily broken. And that's why you can't blow bubbles with just water. Bubble mixture has some water in it and some other things like soap molecules. And that helps the water have a stronger surface tension. See how it forms like a skin over the wand? Wow, that's the surface tension. And when you blow into it, the water molecules and the soap molecules hold on tightly to each other. They push apart as far as they can while still staying connected. And that means a sphere is formed. And you get bubbles. Right, I've decided to make a change to my bubble mixture with the hopes it'll make my bubbles bigger and last longer. So I'm going to add this. This is glycerine, and glycerine grabs onto the water molecules. So hopefully with glycerine, my bubbles will be bigger and last longer. Okay, folks, this is it. Hey, how about a bit of music for good luck? Yeah. Oh, I hope it's not pop music. Okay, here goes. And a bubble is a combination of things. It's a combination of water, soap, and glycerin, held together by surface tension. The bigger the bubble wand, the bigger the surface area, and the bigger the shape. Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box, 34307 Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Why don't you try blowing some bubbles? Try different amounts of dishwashing liquid, water, and you might even get some glycerin to make really big bubbles. It might be a good idea to try blowing them in the bath or outside. Right, well I'm going to pop off. We'll see you next time. Takite. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.